channel I hope you're all doing well and um, I thought I would film this video today just because I thought it would be kind of like a different kind of video and um, I seen the, this video floating around on YouTube and um, only because I searched like I searched it on YouTube to see if it was even like a video and it is um, people filmed quite a lot of videos on this actually to be honest so as you can see by the title this video will be like a nappy review um, just my opinions, um, what we think of um, the Aldi nappies and the Pampers. Um, we've only ever used Aldi or Pampers. Um, I've never really used any other brands, so I can't compare to, to like Tesco. I've heard good things about Tesco nappies and all, and you know, like Asda and stuff. Um, so yeah, so that's what today's video is going to be. It's going to be a nappy review. Um, which one we think is better we have, we have used both we've used both since he was born um and yeah i will just i'll just get straight into the video and just tell you so um the only pampers ones that i actually have are the um the baby dry ones at the moment they're the only ones that I've, we've got here at the house <laughs> they're the only ones we've got at the moment purely because we purchased these, right? We purchased these Pampers Baby Dry Nappies, which is these here. So Harrison is on size three at the moment. Um, the reason why we picked these ones up because of the fact that they say Baby Dry and, um, I don't know, where does it say? Oh yeah, so it says there that it's um, up to 12 hours, like protection, obviously, so like leak-free protection. So more to be worn like at night time so if he's asleep and he's sleeping for a long period and um, they're gonna have no leaks and you know he's gonna last all night in an upper even the daytime i suppose you could use them in the day but we mainly put those up because of them being purely for the night time now we picked these aldi nappies up um and now these also say 12 hours leak free protection but they can be used day and night, it says on the packet. Um, whereas the Pampers only advertise as like a nighttime um, nappy, which obviously you don't have to just wear it for the night, you can wear it for both. Um, so that's why we picked those up. So the Pampers were, you get, how many did you get in them? You get 100 nappies. I think James said he picked those up for tenner, for 10 pounds. Um, so a £10 for 100 nappies and the Aldi ones, um, you get 98 nappies, I think they were £5.99, I think they were about £5.99 or £5, something like that, so majorly way, way cheaper. So these are the Aldi ones and these are the Pampers ones. Um, now. The sizing's a little bit different, as you can see, and like it's different on the inside. Like it's more, I don't know, the quality of them is loads different. Now people say they're quite similar, um, but that's the inside of the Aldi one, and then that's the inside of the Pampers ones. Now to me, they both look quite good. They feel quite good. Um, it actually feels the Aldi ones feel thicker. Like I don't know the the cushion the you know the bit in the middle these feel like like softer these feel more i don't know hard kind of like yeah but um we as i say we've tried them both and um, he hasn't really well i would actually say he has leaked through both of them so yeah we've wore them both at the night time and he's leaked through both nappies while he's been asleep and he's been in them for at least a good 10 hours and they say you know 12 hours leak free protection or whatever so yeah so i suppose that that is not really um true but saying that he wears these all the time we wear these mainly in the day and at night but we purchase these preferably for the night time but then we found he was just leaking through them so then we went back to the Aldi ones and we thought well, well they say on the packet that they are for day and night for an active baby you know 
Uh, it says your active baby is protected day and night for up to 12 hours. In the daytime he wears these, I mean, fair enough. Um, I change his nappy like, I don't know, every whatever, loads and loads of times. I could change his nappy twice, three times in an hour. Um, so I suppose he doesn't have long enough to wear them for it to leak in the day, I suppose. But he does wee a lot and, you know, he poops a lot. And do you know what? He's never had any leaks in these in the day if he's pooped and it's gone up all his back. He's he never really does that kind of thing. Um, and if he has poops loads, they don't actually spill out, which is good, which is why I like these old nappies. He never had any problems with them. But you know, even if you do, most babies poop a lot and you're gonna get spills, I think, with any kind of nappy because he's had spills with pampers as well. So, but yeah. Um, but these ones, I really liked the idea of these because you know when you read the packet and it says like um these are like pampas air so they say that they've got like air channels for breathable dryness and it's not going to like leave sores or messy rash or whatever it comes with stretchy sides so stretchy sides although james went to change harrison's nappy the other day and he pulled um he pulled this obviously to do the nappy and it, it just came straight off so, I mean, they are quite stretchy. Um, they've got the absorbent micro pills, it says, in the inside, which, you know, I think feel really soft. Um, and it, like it says, it says soft like cotton. They're extra, it's got an extra dry layer. I do I like the Pampers. Um, I think they're good, although it says up to 12 hours of dryness and he leaked through them the first night we put them on him, so yeah so that's the, the pampers the Aldi ones um say day and night 12 hours leak free protection super stretchy sides again like the pampers so obviously quite similar the, i wouldn't say they're as stretchy though um they're more stretchy i'd say than them than the Aldi ones um soft and dry layer to help absorb lock away liquid it says that they're extra soft and breathable, um, super absorbent to keep baby fresh and dry. Um, hmm. So, which one do I prefer? I don't actually know because he leaked in both of them. They're both soft, I'm gonna say. These are more softer on the outside than the Aldi ones. Um, but you know, they're still a nice napper and they're both still good nappies. Um, I think these are just quite similar to the ones that you would normally get, you know, the ones with the yellow tabs on, like the actual daytime ones. These are for nighttime. Personally, I don't even see the point in buying a nappy that says, oh, buy, you know, this is for nighttime and this is for the daytime. I think they both just pretty much do the same kind of thing. It's all just a ploy to get you to spend money, basically. If I was going to say which one I prefer and which one I prefer to buy, I would probably say the Aldi ones. And purely, that's purely because of the price. You get so much more nappies for your price when, than you do with the um, Pampers. Now, some people might think the Pampers are better and they prefer to go for a brand that, you know, is a bit more expensive and they know that they're getting good quality nappies. I found they're both just as good, um, if not the same, and um, I would buy both, you know, but for me, personally, I would probably buy the Aldi ones because you get more for your money. You can buy two packets of these for a tenner, pretty much, and you're getting double the amount of nappies. Do you know what I mean? It's just um, a no-brainer, really. It's a win-win for me. The Mamiya Aldi nappies, are good we've used them since day dot um, and we probably will continue to use them because i just think they're really good um, and they're just good value whereas you know pampers again they're good and they're expensive um but they are a really good nappy um but as i say he leaked with both of them so for me ideally you know there isn't really a preference because they're both they're both the same in my eyes and um, they both do what they say um, just he did leak with both of them in the night and you know you would think that that's not what he would do because 
it states that you know it's up to 12 hours and he doesn't sleep in the nappy for that long and he leaks so you know so for me i would say the aldi ones win for me because just because of the price and they're just so similar to the pampers there's no need to go and spend 10 pounds on 100 nappies when you can buy 98 nappies so near enough 100 for i think it's 5.99 i have to double check that i'm pretty sure it's 5.99 so do you know what i mean like guys you could buy two packets of the aldi ones for what i think this is so the 5.99 so six pounds so for 12 pound you could buy two packets of the Aldi nappies and you can get 196 nappies um, for £12. Whereas 100 nappies for £10. Do you know what I mean? It's just a no-brainer for me. Um, I'm all about saving. I'm all about um, buying the best things. And obviously I wouldn't go out and buy cheap things if I didn't think they were good. Um, we always shop at Aldi, we buy his nappies from there, we buy his wipes from there. I've had no problems with the um, Aldi wipes. Um, we buy the nappy bags from there. And now we're weaning him, we're probably gonna buy some of the baby food from there. I just think Aldi is so good. Um, and you know, you're getting, you're getting your money's worth of them. Like these will probably last us a while. Um, the only reason why we still got loads left is because we're kind of just using both at the moment. We're using Pampers and the Aldi ones, but I think once we've used all the Pampers, we're probably not going to buy them again. We'll probably just stick to the Aldi ones because, um, as I say, maternity leave money is not very good. And, you know, you want to be trying to save some money and, you know, get the cheapest thing that you can get, like on a budget and that, I would definitely go for the Aldi ones. Um, because personally, I don't think there's any difference. I really, really don't. Um, I know some babies um, react differently to different things. Like they have sensitive skin. So like obviously if you're a baby, you know, you can't wear the Aldi ones, then obviously, you know, Pampers just as good so i would say buy those if if you don't like the, the aldi ones it's personal preference really like i'm not saying you, which ones you should buy i'm just saying which ones we prefer and which ones we will probably continue to buy um just purely on um on the price really because you get more for your money and um i'm not a brand snob so i wouldn't just go out and buy pampers just because it's a brand um more than likely they're probably made in the same factory guys but just got different labels on like, like i say some people are brand snobs so not not that oh my god not that there is anything wrong with being a brand snob i'm kind of like that myself with some things you know like makeup um i would certain things i wouldn't buy a cheap high um drugstore kind of thing i would go more high end Do you know just kind of those kind of things not I'm not slating people who want to buy brand things, calling them, you know, snobs. But that's just what people call them, you know, like a brand snob. Um, anyway, there's nothing wrong with that. If you want to buy Pampers, buy Pampers, you know. They're nappies at the end of the day. They're doing their job. They're keeping the wee in and the poop. And, yeah. End verdict is they're both just as good, um, you know, I would say they both leaked. We found that he leaked in both of them, so we can't really say um, which one is as which one's better because I, I don't know. I can't say oh this is this one's better because he didn't leak in these, but he leaked in these loads. He leaked in them both. Um, so if anything, I maybe I shouldn't use them and I should try a different brand, but I'm probably not going to do that just because we shop in Alda and it's just easier. We pick up the nappies from there, so we will probably just stick with the Aldi nappies. But if you want to save some money, and you, you know, some people probably have decided to buy the Pampers nighttime, the Pampers daytime. I personally don't even see the point in that when you can just buy the Aldi ones because they say that they work for both and it's cheaper. Do you know what I mean? I'm all about saving money guys, I'm all about bargains. And the Aldi ones are definitely a bargain and a win for me, so. These are the ones that I'll be sticking with. Once we've used all of the Pampers, we probably won't buy them again unless, 
there's an offer on or something. So as I say, we've been using the Audi ones for quite a while and we've never really had any problems, any leaks with them. Um, even the Pampers to be honest. But it's only just recently he has, so I don't know whether if that is the nappy or it's just because his nappy's not properly and he's just like had an accident, do you know what I mean? Harrison's getting really agitated <laughs> and he's just woke up from a nap. Um, so that's probably my cue to wrap this video up. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you want me to do more videos, like more review videos on baby products and things like that, um, just let me know because I'll happily do that for you. I've got loads of things that we've used which we prefer and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, Aldi nappies are a win for me, um, just purely overpriced. Um, nothing against either of them, I like them both. But we just purely want to start using the Aldi nappies just because, um, as I say, the price. You get more nappies for for what you pay for. Um, and that's that's a good thing for me because I'm all about saving money and stuff like that, especially on maternity leave. All about saving money, guys. All about saving money. But yeah, as I say, if you enjoyed this video, guys, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you want me to do more videos like this, more review videos, then just let me know by leaving a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please uh, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you on my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!